Resolume 7.3 comes with new sources, new effects, and a new blend mode. In this video, we'll be exploring all the new toys in this release. We're starting out with the Tunnelina source. This source creates tunnel shapes using circles. We have control over two color parameters, creating a gradient between the circles. The line width gives us control over the thickness of each circle. The zoom lets us move in closer or further away from the source. The vertical and horizontal parameters let us twist and turn the tunnel in all kinds of interesting ways. And lastly, the frequency gives us control over the movement speed of the source. The Tunnelina source is a source that is quite flexible in use without having a ton of parameters. Here are a few examples of what can be done with this source. The Abstract Field Generator is an amped up noise generator that produces visuals ranging from gooey shapes to harsh noise and moving starscapes. This is one of those sources you just have to sit around with and play with until you get what you like. With just three parameters, you won't get lost, so you can keep focusing on making cool stuff. Here are a few examples of what can be done with this source. Tilt Shift is the first of two new effects in Resolume 7.3. It does exactly what it promises, it gives you a tilted blur effect. You can dial in the amount of blur, you can position the part that you want to be in focus, and adjust the focus area. The falloff controls how the blurred parts are smeared out. As a little bonus, we added a saturation and a vignette filter. In this first example, I have used the effect to put the focus on the boomboxes in the foreground. In this second example, I have used Tilt Shift to subtly blur the head of the figure from every kick by using Composition FFT to modulate the focus parameter. The next effect is the Aquarella effect, also known as the effect that will make anything look pretty and mysterious. This effect mimics the flow of watercolor paint. The input gain adds more of the given input, resulting in a brighter image. Speed controls the modulation speed of the effect. Strength controls how much displacement is taking place along the X and Y axis. This can be further controlled independently via the Gain X and Gain Y parameter. You can move the Detail slider for a smoother or clearer motion. The Density slider affects the movement patterns. The Reset toggle resets the effect which is great for creating beat synced effects. Now let's look at a few examples. And to round this video up, we have the Pip Mixer. This is a new blending mode that allows for mixing picture in picture. I have set the blending mode of my clip in layer two to Pip. Now I have control over the scale, X and Y positions, as well as the option for vignetting. This can be a useful tool if you need to mix multiple clips into a bigger clip that functions as your main canvas. This can also be very useful when you're live streaming or doing tutorials. I hope you will enjoy these new features as much as we do, and I'll see you in the next video.